let us talk about dependency injection. Initially, when I heard of dependency injection, it looked like one complex, razzmatazz, long, complicated concept. But it's actually simple. Let us start with basic Java. We have a class here called President. We have a name and an age. Name is string, age is int. We have a constructor and our getters. Now, in modern Java, specifically from Java 14 and up, we have a feature called records. By the way, you don't need to do this. I just want to show what modern Java can do. So I am going to replace this class with a record. You could use the normal class or you could use a record. They, will, they do the same thing. A record is just a data holder. It will have all the getters and constructor for you. So don't worry. Now, let us create another class. We would call that class country. We have country name and president. President is of type president. The issue here is the constructor here in country is responsible for creating a president. In this example, the fields, country name and president aren't private, but in the class, they could be private. So that means I can't change them and only what the constructor sets will be final. That creates a problem because that means every country object I create will have a president named Abraham. So what if I wanted to change the president? This becomes complex. Another issue can occur. For example, in a big project, you might have different developers working on different classes. And you don't want code complexity. So let's say somebody worked on this country class and somebody worked on the president class. The person that worked on the president class, let's say he says, oh, Let's add another field called hometown. On the main method, you might not see any error. But now, the person who created the country class will have an error in the class because the president object now needs a third argument. This problem occurs because the country class is responsible for creating the president object. This is a simple code, but imagine if we had many classes that were also responsible for creating the president object. We will have a problem. A way around this is called constructor injection. So it's like a form of dependency injection. That way, instead of making the class create the dependency, we inject it through the constructor. So what is going to happen is we create the precedent object outside the country. And when we're creating a new country, we pass it in as a constructor. You might say, hmm, is that dependency injection? Yeah, a dependency is just what the class depends on. So the country class depends on a precedent. And instead of being responsible for instantiating that dependency, we pass it in through a constructor. There are other forms of dependency injection. So when you look at it, 
you have actually probably been performing dependency injection. But when you hear the name dependency injection, it looks complex. Now, we have done a simple example of dependency injection. But then we have libraries that do this for us. That is the purpose of libraries like Daga and Quiz. So, we will learn how to use those libraries to perform dependency injection.